Hello, kids. Good morning, Professor. Today, we'll learn some tricks using multiplication by 10 and 5. Let's start with multiplication by 10 and look at some examples. We know that 1 times 10 is 10. 2 times 10 is 20. 3 times 10 is 30. 4 times 10 is 40. And 5 times 10 is 50. Have you noticed something interesting, kids? It looks like you just add a zero to the number that you multiply by 10. Yes, absolutely. You've found the trick. And I can say that it works for any number that you multiply by 10. You just need to add zero to it. So, let's try 20 times 10. What do you think the answer is? 200! Yes, and we all also know that the order of the numbers doesn't matter in multiplication. So this trick can still be used if 10 is the first number too. 10 times 20 equals 200, and 20 times 10 equals 200. Let's try to solve another problem. What is 10 times 12? 120! Yes, that's it. I think you understand the trick. Yes, this is really helpful. Okay, now let's look at multiplication by 5. What is 6 times 5? It means that we need to add 6 5 times, but we've just learned the trick to multiplication by 10, so you can easily find the answer to adding 6 10 times. You know that 60. Now, what is 5 in comparison to 10? Is 5 half of 10? Yes, you got that. 5 is half of 10. So to multiply any number by 5, you could multiply it by 10 and then take half of that answer. Let's return to our example. The problem was, what is 6 times 5? First, we'll multiply 6 times 10. That's 60. Then we'll take half of 60. That's 30. So 6 times 5 is 30. Let's try one more problem. 12 times 5. We can easily figure out that 12 times 10 is 120. And then what is half of 120? It's 60. Yes, that's right. So, 12 times 5 is 60. As always, we remember that the order of the numbers doesn't change the answer in multiplication. So, it doesn't matter if 5 is the first or the second number. This trick can still be used. Let's repeat the tricks we've learned. To multiply any number by 10, just add 0 to the number. To multiply a number by 5, you can multiply it by 10 and then take half of it. That's it for today. Next time, we'll learn some new tricks. If you would like to learn and practice the times tables in a fun and easy way, we suggest trying our engaging times tables game. You can find the link to the game in the description below. Also, if you enjoyed our video and want to see new ones, like and subscribe. Bye!